Hello and welcome to the Definitive Dub's Guide on How to Mod Sound Effects for the Mega Man Zero Legacy Collection. This guide can also be found on the Steam modding page for the game by Jake Naguerre, along with how to change the music and other things. Subscribers to my channel who watch my fan dub of the series may have noticed that I've modded English voices of my cast into the game for these videos. For a couple of years after the release of the collection, it was believed that modding sounds was impossible, as replacing any of them would make the game crash. However, we now know that Capcom uses the same file system for this collection as they do for Resident Evil Revelations, and thanks to a guide on the RE modding forums written by Peter Zehan, we can freely listen to and mod any sounds we want. Keep in mind though that these instructions are for Windows only, and as far as I know, they only work on the PC version. You're going to need a few tools before we get started. The first is Gold Wave, a very powerful audio editor that works really well for what we need. The second tool you'll need is HXD, a hex editor that will allow you to copy, paste, and overwrite hex data between two files. The third is a little program called Arcscape, to read the game's .arc files and extract the sounds. And finally, you might want a program called Renamer, which just allows you to rename or change the extension of a bunch of files in bulk. Links to all of these in the description. Once you have all of these installed, go to the game's installation folder. So we're at Steam Apps, Common, MZZ, XLC, Native PC, RZZC, ROM PC, and in this folder you'll find the game's .arc files, which contain most of the game's assets. The files you're looking for are 01SE, 02SE, 03SE, 04SE, ZXSE, and ZXASE US or JP, depending on your version. These contain all the sounds used by the individual games. There are other files like ZCSE, ZXSE ZC, and just 0SE, but I have no idea what these are used for, possibly the collection's main menu or Z Chaser. So let's say we want to change the sound effect for the wall kick in Mega Man Zero One. Open up Arcscape. Now this is a Chinese program, but don't worry, it's simple to use. Click the far left icon to open up a .arc file. In this case, we want 01SE.arc. Once it's opened, click the third icon from the left and extract the contents to a folder of your choice. Now go to where you sent it. Sound, SE, Wave, 01SE, and there's all the sound effects in the game. These are basically .wave files in disguise. They're not labeled, so you're not going to know where the wall kick sound is without listening to them all individually. Now, make a copy of this whole folder, as I did, and open up Renamer. Click Add, Extension, Write Wave in this box, and click Add Rule. I've already done that. Have the rule enabled, then drop the folder in here, then click Rename. Once that's done, you can now listen to all the sounds in FooBar or something, and find the sound you need. There's hundreds, so that will take some time, but the wall kick is sound number 30. That's what we want. So we know that the wall kick sound is 01SE0030. So now that we know that, head back to the copy of the folder and find 01SE.0030.724 yada yada. Open it up in Gold Wave. 
Ignore the warnings. And there's our sound. Now you want to add the sound you want to replace it with. In this case, we have fart plus reverb. Awesome. So, copy this sound. Go back to your old sound, delete it, and then paste the new sound. Be sure to remove any dead space at the beginning of the track so that it's timed properly to the gameplay. And you'll also have to worry about balancing the volume with all the other sounds in the game. Hit save. And close. And make sure you saved a copy of the original before you do this, as I did here. Now go to HXD and open both the copy of the original and the new file you just created. Scroll down to the bottom of both and you'll see they have different data signatures. The original file says SMPL, simple. The new file says fact. What you want to do is go to the original and highlight from simple all the way to the bottom, then copy it. Now go to the new one, highlight from fact to the bottom, and then paste. The old hex signature is now overwriting the new one. So, you want to save, and close. There you go. Now use Arcscape again, and open 01se.arc just like last time. Go to Sound, SE, Wave, 01se, and there's all the sounds contained in the arc. Now, find 01se, 0030, that's the wall kick sound. Click the fifth icon from the left at the top, and navigate to the file you just modded. Double click, OK, and there you go. If all goes well, congratulations, you just replaced a sound effect in Mega Man Zero. Let's check it out. As you can see, it works perfectly, for better or for worse. Thank you for watching.